I do watch other motorcycle vloggers. My favourite one of all probably is Million Dollar Bogan. But he's uh, he's in dispute with Harley Davidson at the moment because they're being a bunch of woke assholes and he's probably the greatest vlogger in the history of motorcycling. So I don't know. Then there's Ed March, he's another boy from back home, from Devon, not far from where we used to live in Silverton. Uh, he's to say he puts out his videos rarely would be an understatement. I think he's still putting up videos from his trip from like Alaska right down through America and into South America, Central and South America. Um, from like five years ago, but he puts them out very sparingly, very slowly. But they are absolute works of pure comedy and art. And I highly recommend it. I mean, what that guy does on the Honda C90 is just madness. So, we'll quickly go around here. This isn't part of the trip, but it is. So, Citrine Hub is our first shopping mall. It's got restaurants and bars in there as well. You can see more new building going on over here from the same company. It's basically a whole town being built by the same company. This here, behind that hedge, is Emerald Lake. You can check out those videos, I'm sure. There I am in the mirror, window, whatever. Then we have Sunway International School. This um, works, I believe, on the Canadian um, educational, whatever they call them. Extension to the school recently. That's job doing well. Up here we have Emerald Residence, and then here is uh, Boulevard 88, Emerald, oh yeah, Emerald Boulevard 88, which is all shop houses and restaurants. Obviously, at the moment it was all new before COVID, so at the moment lots of empty stuff because people just ain't taking up businesses, are they? But you got some really good food places down here, which you can find within my um, video list. Then we have, I think that's called the hub across, or the grid across the road. Which is going to be more offices, maybe homes as well. Who knows. So we're going to go just up the side roads basically. So on my left that is Emerald Residence. On my right we have a, I think it's built by a Japanese company, it's going to be Japanese style which is called I think Sakura, yeah Sakura. So these are all gated communities. That path down there takes you to Emerald Lake again. I'm going to follow this police car, I think it's a police car. Uh, this is the uh, Tenga National is the electric company. Right, so here we can see, if I show you around, turn around. Here you can see all that cleared land. That obviously is going to be built on at some stage. I'll keep going, show you some more. I can show you the scale of this building. For those of you who live in Western Supermare who are watching, maybe, uh, this is what World was like many years ago, 50, 40 years ago. It used to be a big farming land and then it just became a big huge building. It's like, well, this is all being cleared. So this is where we were riding just now all around here and that is all going to be cleared and built on.
I don't know what those Japanese looks like. You can't just go in and have a look. I mean, you can if you pretend you want to buy one, I suppose. Well, my understanding is they're expensive. Right, so we're going to go around this one now. It's just sort of just the next road along. This X Park is um, supposed to be like extreme sports. So a lot of these roads are just dead ends, but we've got them. There's always a chance you can bump into a monkey up these places. But you can see this is all fenced off. It's all building site in there, or going to be. You can see all the open land around me. I hope the sound is okay. I've noticed I start talking quite loud again. I don't, I don't. I can get very peaky on the microphone, so I hope that's not coming through. So now we're the other side of where we were looking earlier, I think. Yeah. So you can see all the empty land. There you go. All that ready for building on. There are areas I filmed here, which I'm glad I filmed now because they're disappearing. See, that used to be a park as well by the looks of it. Playground and stuff up there. Um, yeah, there are parts now that I filmed that you know, they're not going to be there anymore, so I'm glad I filmed them. Not to see them as they looked before. Here we go. It's fun having all these empty roads to play on. It would be nice if we could have, like, some paths set up here. The only... There used to be a... Not sure about that as a road repair. You probably get it was here. There's a huge hole there. I guess they've chucked gravel in the hole. Yeah, they have. Being washed away. Um, there's a lake over here, which I'll show you, I guess, if I can. Yeah, there used to be, I don't know, 10, 15 miles from here, uh, an off road track you can go to. Look at that. It's a lake over there, but you can't get to it. It's like. There's no easy way down to it. If you're into fishing though, there's some fabulous places if you could get yourself down there and if you didn't mind the snakes. It could be snakes, who knows. So this is my little bikey. She's nothing special, but she cost me new 800 pounds. 4,000 ringgit. Um, and that was... I think she's over four years old now, she might even be five years old. There's been a few changes, she wasn't that colour when I got her, she never had the Honda stickers on her when I got her. Um, the exhaust I had changed originally to like a high exhaust, I wanted to make it look like a Honda XL 125, but I've got the original exhaust back on now because I was taking, picking up my granddaughter from school for a while and I didn't really want her legs going over the exhaust. And the, new, the back light is different because the other one died, so you know, it's all fun. And it's rugged. What the Chinese tend to do, everyone goes on about, oh, Chinese bikes are crap. I think part of the problem in the UK is that you salt the roads. Obviously, we don't have to do that here because we don't get any freezing. And therefore, things rust. My, this bike has been living in the wild outside in all weathers. I've removed the battery so I can only kickstart it. I can't um, extra start it anymore, but that was just like a a choice. Well, it wasn't a choice. The battery cradle broke a couple of times and the side panel fell off and in the end I thought, F it, I don't really need, it's fairly easy to kick start, it's only a 125, we need bump start if I have to. Um, so, that's what we did, is we 
moved a few bits just for fun. But yeah, what the Chinese tend to do with their bikes. Yeah, this is a Honda CG125 engine in all but name, I guess. It's a Chinese built one, but that's the design. But what the Chinese do is they they, they detune the engines. I used to have a, a, a dual sport bike, um, which I think was based upon the DT200 Yamaha engine. I think it's DT. A little on off road thing. And I really like that bike. It was very smart looking. You'll see it sometimes if you're smart in uh, my earlier videos, or you can actually see it in some of the beginning segments, depending on which one I use. Does the bike have to ride off on the green bike? Uh, but I'm going to go down here now. So on the right hand side, this is the big box. This is our second mull. And our left hand side is the X, X Park. Um, which obviously, like everything at the moment, is suffering because there ain't no thing to do. Right, we're going to go across the road. That's what we're going to do, because we don't want to go too far this way. Da -de -da -de -da. I know a gear's near somewhere. Alright, these are all side roads that I'm sure they're going to be building on eventually down around here. But at the moment they're pretty much deserted roads. So you can have some fun on them, on your bike. And I'll often go off into these, well there's, some, there's clearer bits than this, and I'll often take this bike off into them. There's some quite nice lakes hidden around there. See there's a football pitch and a running track over there. No one, I mean hardly anybody knows they're there. A few people use them but they're pretty much never talked about and forgotten. But I think we've done enough for today. We will come out and do some more if this worked out alright. That was all jungly before, now cleared. So yeah, we'll come out and do some more. The plan is that I'll probably do at least one motor vlog a week. So I think I'd just like to show you the area I live in. Just like I get a kick out of watching like videos from the UK where I used to live for most of my life. It's fun now to feel that I'm showing people Malaysia in all its beauty and glory. So that was just a short ride all oh, within five minutes of where I live. Somebody please explain to me what the hell that's all about. Just that idiot licking his nuts again.